So the cars are getting through scrutineering every minute now and we're seeing more and more out on the track in the practice area. Let's look back and see what other memories the FSG Dynamics area holds. So one of the hardest disciplines to complete at Formula Student Germany is the endurance and uh, we've seen over the years so much emotion and action and a lot of cars finish and a lot of the cars don't but uh, one memorable moment was uh, in 2010 when the TU Berlin uh, were about 10 meters from the finish line and their car stopped yet they still managed to finish the race. Richard could you tell me about it, you were the driver back then, what exactly happened? So yeah, um, the problem started in the third lap um, of my stint um, and we had a problem with the fuel pump um, and after every right turn the car stopped actually and um, I had the luck to restart the car every single lap um, except the last lap and um, the last corner and so the only way to finish the car was uh, to press the starter button and uh, drive with pure electric drive over the finish line. Yeah. And how long did this take to, <laughs> to finish the race? Um, it felt like uh, 20 hours, I don't know, two days, three years, I really don't know. Yeah. And uh, just one more question, you're sat in the cockpit right now, um, this is the 2015 car, uh, does it look any different to how it did in the olden days? Um, it uh, looks different a little bit, uh, I found the starter already and they have a new button for situations uh, like um, 2010 and uh, they have a new button here which is called Call Mom. Yeah. <laughs> I think in 2010 I would would have pressed this button here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. In 2009 it was announced that there would be a new competition, Formula Student Electric. With an astonishing turnaround from the teams, FSE was born and the first ever Formula Student Night Race was held in 2010. So another one of the special awards is the DECRA award for the best prepared car for scrutineering and uh, I'm here with Maria who is one of our main scrutineers this year um, because actually it's the scrutineers who are the ones who make the decision as to who wins this award. So Maria could you tell me about a little bit more about what you're looking for? Yeah, the team already had to upload their impact attenuator data and the structural equivalency form prior to the event. We check if they um, uploaded it completely, if they fail to um, answer questions. And also during the event, we check if they um, pass scrutineering at once or if they had to redo it several times. And the best team, which did it all at once, will win the award. Excellent. And uh, are there a lot of contenders this year? Uh, I won't say it, I think. <laughs> it's a big surprise. <laughs> Direct drive technology is just one possible solution when considering new wheel hub drive concepts. In terms of innovative ideas for the powertrain and chassis, there are some brilliant solutions on display in Formula Student Germany. As one of the finalists, could you tell me a little bit more about your design? Yes, of course. Uh, well, our design is the first ever we did with an electric car, so we went all four-wheel drive and we have in-wheel electric motors self-developed uh, by uh, students at our school. Uh, we also self-designed our uh, gearing system, it's a compound planetary gearing system uh, and the most complicated uh, part of it was the manufacturing, so we really tried to outdid ourselves uh, on this part. Hello. Hello. Hey. Are you tired? Yeah, we need
Oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs>